Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and it is Prepared Monday. Well, today's topic is very, very simple. I've been getting this quite a bit lately. Why should I live in fear and prep instead of just living my life without the fear of all of these negative things that could happen, which I'm preparing for? Well, here's part of the problem with this as a retort to the prepping concept. Uh, preparing isn't about fear. That's right, you heard me. I'm not afraid of natural disasters. I've lived through them. I've lived through hurricanes. I've lived through tropical storms. I've lived through tornadoes. Uh, I've been around earthquakes. I was here in Oregon in 2005 and in 2008 when St. Helens started ashing and smoking and acting all irate. Uh, I haven't been through a lava flow yet or a serious ash storm yet, but I still don't fear them. I also don't fear a serious earthquake. Uh, I've got earthquake insurance. I've got preparations made in the event that there's an earthquake. I know how to turn off the gas to my house, how to shut off the water to my house, how to turn off the power to my house. I, in short, am not afraid to live my life as though these things could not happen. The second you deny something will happen, or choose to live as though it will never happen to you, you have given it power over you. You have shown that you are afraid of that thing. And rather than face it and come up with a way to overcome it, you are simply going to give in to it when it happens and expect somebody else to save you. And that's not the way I like to live my life. I personally like to live my life on my own two feet take responsibility for those things that I desire, and be a man who can stand logic, reason, and live without fear of something that is so catastrophic that there is no way for me to recover from. And yes, I tend to focus more on the much more likely scenarios and much less on the unlikely scenarios. However, Every step I take in all of these likely scenario preparations prepares me even for those unlikely scenarios because I will still have many of the same things set up and ready to go as those that are specifically prepping for that bizarre unlikely scenario that they think is the most likely. So, that just comes down to a matter of opinion and philosophy as to what you should be most prepared for. And while I advocate for preparing for those things that we know will happen versus those things that we theorize could happen, it doesn't mean that preparing for those things that you know can happen will not prepare you for those things that theoretically can happen. So join me this year in preparing yourself and show your strength and your courage instead of showing your weakness to ignore it and then become dependent on the government when it happens. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube or thumbs up and subscribe if you're on BitChute. Also, don't forget you can catch me on the other social media sites down below. And don't forget, I realistically don't make any money off YouTube from any of this stuff. So if you want to help contribute and support my channel, uh, come on over to Patreon here shortly. I'm hoping to make a maker, uh, maker support page and I'll let you support there. Or you can come on over to minds.com and contribute through the wire methodology there. I will receive the money if you wire it to me through minds. Uh, I'm also considering possibly opening up some other methods for you guys to help fund me and possibly even looking at doing a GoFundMe uh, solution to help pr publish more of these and possibly upgrade my equipment and my software so I can do a better job editing for you guys. Thank you all again and have yourselves a wonderful prepared Monday.